Hello my friends on YouTube. I'm sorry about the delay and today's video actually I was preparing another video and then I received a comment from uh, one of my subscriber the name is um, hope for the planet I don't know if it's a man or a woman uh, however I'm going to respond to this person because he or she has very good points and is asking many questions but they are kind of like mingled together so I try to separate them uh, but in the beginning I would like to actually apologize for a mistake I made on the video the the great ex exodus of Muslim women out of Saudi Arabia uh, or girls uh, because I made a mistake saying that the Jews when they left Egypt they went to the land of Palestine at this time actually there was no land of Palestine it was called the land of Canaan and it was the land where Jacob and I believe 70 members of his, his family his children grandchildren migrated to Egypt stayed there for 130 years and then Moses brought them back to the land of Canaan where they came from originally so that was a mistake and two people brought that to my attention and actually I done that on, in a way on purpose to kind of like because not so many people are aware of the word Canaan or where Canaan is but we should not please people the, the fact is it's called land of Canaan okay uh, about the video today the first question is uh, why Muslim women in uh, civilized countries uh, they are still holding on to the hijab niqab and burqa and this is a very good question actually but uh, the reason here there are a few reasons one of them is fashion they make a statement fashionable statement and some of them actually some of these uh, attire looks very very sexy I remember one lady here in America she told me the way they cover up it makes it will make another person would want to say want to peel these layers off and ask her let me see what's underneath here until he strip her naked completely and it feels like that sometimes whereas a person a woman who is modest just walking on the street wearing regular dress she doesn't attract attention like that another reason is because they want to make a statement I am a moral person, I'm covered, I have good morality, you are not. Uh, another reason, believe it or not, sex. If we see sometimes some women go out on the street with hardly any clothes on, why do they do that? They do that because they are looking for a man. They are looking for a good sexual partner. So it's about sex. The same thing, the woman who is covered, if she is not married, she is making a statement. I'm available, I'm looking for a good sexual partner. So both of them are looking for the same thing, but they take two different approaches. But at the end, it's about sex both and uh, what else uh, another reason is uh, I can't remember actually I uh, read them before anyway um, okay if it comes to me I will uh, I will speak about it okay now the other question is why Linda Sarsour 
but she didn't write Linda Sarsour. She translated the last name, and the word Sarsour means cockroach. So she asked, why Linda Cockroach and Ilan Omar? Uh, they are so much, they, they, uh, they speak of the glory of Islam and the goodness of Islam and, and all that brainwashing stuff. My answer to that is, these people are not religious people. Islam is not a religious movement. Islam is a political and military movement. This is a show, this uh, head cover and stuff. Actually, that's the last point. It's a show. It's a show business. Okay? It's a show business, that hijab. And when they put that show, they show that they are Muslim, they receive a lot of money, not from organization only, but from countries. I don't have records, so nobody asked me for records. But these people, all the events that they organize, with many people coming, huh, they receive fund with one intention, to turn the political system to become an Islamic one. It's hard to believe, but actually at the end, all Muslim movement, whether it's Muslim Brotherhood, whether it's CARE, whether it is uh, the Salafit, all of them, at the very end, they will take control of the world. They know in the past they could succeed by the power of the sword. Now that power has no meaning anymore. So they are trying to take it by ideology. Okay. In the Western world, uh, the feminist movement uh, is kind of like off track. This person was asking, yes, it is off track. The feminist movement, uh, when it started, it was a good movement because they were talking about women's right, which nobody can, I mean, nobody will say women don't have a right. Not only that, actually men, good men, should fight for women's right. We shouldn't wait until women rise up to call for their rights. We, we should call for their rights first, good men. Okay, uh, so here, uh, the, the movement started as a good movement, yet later on deviated, and now, unfortunately, it's so far off, it, they just, the feminist movement and the left and the Muslim, it's not a good mix, but somehow they unite together for now, and then they will split later, or they will cut each other thought later. Because if Islam takes roots in any uh, Western society, the first to be sacrificed and killed are the feminists. The gay also. I'm not a gay supporter, but the gay movement, they also uh, unite with the Muslim. Okay, you are minority and uh, I'm a minority, you are persecuted, I'm persecuted. Let's unite together and work together. But if Islam takes over any country, the first to be thrown from the highest building are these gates. So the feminist movement, they go and support Linda Sarsour when she is speaking. And in her support, they, they distribute... Um, hijab head cover, yet a woman in Iran, young lady in Iran, she took her uh, hijab off because she wants to be free. She wants to say, whoever wants to wear hijab, let her wear the hijab, but don't force me to wear the hijab. I would say the feminist movement would be better off standing with this woman in Iran 
to have her right than standing with uh, Linda Sarsour and asking people to have a hijab day and every woman should wear a hijab to support the terrorist. They deviated a lot. She, that person was asking about them. That's my take on, on the feminist movement. She's asking that the Western uh, government, they are kind of giving in to a point that they are protecting the Muslim and their Sharia and to a point that it's, it's boggling to the mind. Uh, I, I understand, yes, but again, the petrodollar has a lot of effect. Okay, the petrodollar is so powerful, and the Muslim in many countries they bought universities in America, in Europe, they bought individuals in governments, they bought presidents to appoint a president goes to Saudi Arabia and he bows down in public to the king of Saudi Arabia is the most the leader of the most powerful country in the world bowing down to the king why why do you do that are you bought or you're saying that you are Christian or as you are Muslim in either case that is terrible The person is asking that everybody in the West, from Europe, New Zealand, in America, everybody suffered something because of September 11, Madrid, uh, London, all uh, New Zealand, all these uh, attacks. The West suffered. Yet, in the airport, this person is saying, we have because of these attacks now because of security you have to take your shoes off your belt off your purse has to go through the scanning machine and so on and so forth yet a muslim woman all covered with burqa and everything you don't know even know you wouldn't know even if she is a man or a woman because nothing is showing she would go through without taking anything off and this person is asking, how come? How come? We are the ones who suffered and they are the ones who are getting the free lunch in a way. Once again, the petrodollar and the Islamic movement, the movement, they are really so much in the West to a point that it is boggling to the mind that there are training camp, military training camps in the United States I know of, training people for a day to come, militarily. We'll talk about that later. <clears throat> so she, she, that person, I'm sorry, saying she, I don't know if it's a he or she, uh, is saying, is there, are they above the law? Or are they like so fragile that we have to make like special law for them and we don't upset them because maybe if we upset them, maybe they are going to retaliate very violently and hurt us more. And the person is saying at the end, we should actually stop that. I agree. I agree. That should not have even been started. Not, never mind stopping it. Stopping it, it should have been also long ago. But still there is a chance that we can stop this disease this cancer from doing what it what it is doing to the west and to societies and <clears throat> this person also was asking uh, why is the relationship between the muslim and the west my understanding here you may not agree with it i'm not saying that for anyone to agree with it but for example, uh, Fidel Castro in Cuba, when he took over Cuba, the mafia was put in charge to murder him, to assassinate him. 
and the FBI and the CIA in America were on, in contact with the mafia organizing and in exchange they turned the head the other ways and let the mafia whatever bring cocaine or I don't know whatever illegal activity they are doing the government would look the other way the other side and let them do whatever they want to do in exchange of killing Castro although that the, the plan did not work this way but it was meant to be this way so not only the United States government many government in the West they have relationship with bad people okay to do the dirty work for them they also have relationship with the Muslim to do a different dirty work for them what is the different dirty work that the Muslim would do Muslim society is actually a society that in the pure is form of Islam the Muslim follow the leader 100% and he or she should not criticize the leader in any way or manner they should follow blindly that's how Muhammad led his army total obedience they don't ask anything actually in Quran it says you shouldn't ask anything you shouldn't ask just follow so this is a prepared army that anybody can manipulate and use very well because they have they have this earnest desire to follow the leader why am I saying that because America specifically America because the Europe has been in a way let me use the word emasculated uh, America is a country with the rights to have guns and any dictator recently uh, Maduro in Venezuela before he takes total control of the country he gathered all the weapons from the public once you do that you have total control of the public you can do whatever you want go past history Mao, Hitler, uh, Stalin all these people also collected the weapon from the citizen then you can do it you can slaughter them as much as you want with America it is very hard even though uh, the left and the media are working day and night to try to disarm the American people but somehow it's not working when you disarm the American people the left will take over socialism will take over or other communism they call it now socialism but it will take over once they take over everybody becomes poor it becomes like Venezuela today or North Korea now once this happen you have an elite group few people and everybody is like a slave you work and work and work and they milk you you're like a machine you have no rights you have no rights so to get America to this point is very difficult although they stripped us of many rights now but they are always after the guns from the public always after the guns and if they cannot collect all the guns what are they going to do to turn America into a socialist country raise up another army from within that they will obey totally and completely who would these be the Muslim cells that they are training in America on American ground at this moment right now these would be used to fight the resistance in America in case it comes to that we thank you very much I hope uh, to hear from you we welcome your comments and we thank you very much 
Uh, and the game. Bye.